Hey everyone, so today what we're going to be talking about is the Steam Deck again. And we actually had a really good video just on our first impressions and what we really thought that it actually might be and the potential of it on our last video. You should go ahead and check that out, it's actually pretty cool. If you're not aware, the Steam Deck uses SteamOS and uh, SteamOS is based on KDE Plasma, which is uh, a flavor, if you want to call it, of Linux. And so it's not based on Windows, which a lot of games are uh, tailored for and they're made for and they're more of a native for. So for this, uh, there's a lot of games that do work on on Linux, they work on Windows, and they also work on Mac OS. Um, there's usually a tab there at that top. You can always see in the Steam window whenever you go through your library, you can uh, see which ones are compatible right off the bat, um, especially if you open up a game, anything, or if you just open up the library, it'll tell you right away. And if you're actually on Linux, you probably very well uh, know this, all this stuff already. But whenever you do use the Steam Deck, you might see that there are some games that are natively supported right from from the, the Steam Store, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. But any games that, that might not be supported, uh, any AAA games or anything like that, would need to be ran through a compatibility layer that's built through the community as well as the developers to make the game at least run run a, a quite a bit better on, um, on Linux. And Proton is a nice compatibility layer that allows games that run on Windows to run on Linux. And I'm just going to be showing you guys how to to see how your favorite game is going to be running on that ne new Steam Deck that you're going to be purchasing. Hopefully you can get one around the time that it comes out, but as of uh, right now, at least I know some of the pre-orders say December, some of them say uh, the quarter two of, uh, of 2022, so who really knows when you're going to be able to get some. Um, they did um, let people know that what they're doing really, especially for the Proton compatibility later, they're working very closely with the developers to making sure this is going to be a very smooth and best release and they're trying to optimize this as best they can. So that d doesn't only just do well for, for the Steam Deck, but also does a lot uh, better for the, the Linux community in general, especially for gaming. So um, what we want to do is we want to go see something called, it's called the Proton uh, Database. And what you're going to be doing is it's going to be checking to see, you're going to see how well the game does perform. There's usually a bunch of ratings that they actually do give out. Uh, for each game and to see how well and you can tell if there's any bugs or anything like that. Let's go check out a few popular games and then uh, you, I'll leave it to the rest of you guys to see if uh, your favorite game is, is on there or if it's left out or anything like that. Alright, so what you want to do, you want to go to your web browser and you want to go to protondb.com and what this is, this is the Proton database it's a good way to check. You can see that there are 19,000 games that are reported. Most of the time, you'll see very popular titles, especially on the ratings for most popular title on at least the front page. And what you're going to do is you can uh, check out what exactly it is. They give you a little nice description. And you can see a, a lot of uh, popular titles, again, on the main page here. And most of the time, anything that's really popular, they're going to be working on. Uh, the community is very good on this type of website. Um, we do know that they did show a few off on, uh, on their actual steam about s some of the EA games that were coming out but let's see some other ones so I think a good one down here actually would be Grand Theft Auto to go ahead and check out so when you do click a title it's going to give you a rating uh, for each for each one platinum is the highest gold and a uh, silver um, this would what, what these are going to mean is every time you do see a rating that there is um, usually a p performance standard for it. Uh, most of the time you will see, especially people do report in, you can see actually what their specs are, what type of distro they're running, what's their kernel, what their RAM is, what even the, by the driver. They describe it very well. Some people say they have a great time, and uh, some people say that it just gives it a horrible mess. Most popular titles are going to be, especially AAA ones, are going to be running most of the time totally fine. What you want to do, uh, you can check out any game really here. There's Grand Theft Auto, that could be one. Uh, we can go back to the main page, check out any other popular game. Multiplayer games are usually always a little bit more difficult because you have to go through an anti-cheat system. A lot of game, a lot of major competitive games, especially, go through anti-cheat system. So if you're playing, if you're trying to play a game like Valorant, it might be more difficult on Linux because uh, because that anti-cheat sy system that works mainly on Windows and they don't have really much uh, Linux support at all. So any of those games. Uh, your mileage would definitely vary, especially if it's outside Steam. It's it really is, is a long shot to see if the developer actually wants to really care about it um, that much. Uh, we can see another one is Apex Legends, with, and they put this one borked. It's a pretty bad time on on uh, on Linux. That means a lot of people are are, are seeing b really bad issues, and most of the time it's not playable. So this one doesn't really look. This one doesn't really have a, a great 
time. This one's probably because there is an anti-cheat that's enabled on here. And usually that once they do that, and see, you can even see a lot of people are complaining about the anti-cheat because any of those are usually just more optimized for Windows and there's no real Linux support for that. So any competitive shooters, that'll be definitely harder. I know most people aren't going to be really focusing on the competitive shooter side, but it's just on especially a handheld. But uh, it's just it would be something cool just to always have just in case. Destiny 2 is another big one. I know it's still a big shooter. It worked. It's the same type of thing. I do know they switched this from it was on the Blizzard launcher. Now it's to this. But it um, looks like some people are having the same problem as well. Let's see another one. Just like a single player game. I think those would do be a little bit better. Let's go maybe Rise of the Tomb Raider. They actually see like a game like this will be platinum because it has uh, native support out the box so this would be actually pretty good developers do care about some of those games especially AAA games um, would be actually do really well on it um, some some will actually do it and it says Ricard Vulcan all those things but a lot of games uh, especially single-player games I think that's what most people are going to be focusing on so if we did Rise of the Tomb Raider it looks pretty good uh, we could try like Resident Evil Resident Evil 2 Platinum you could see Resident Evil Village Gold so these are actually running pretty well Almost every Resident Evil game looks to be pretty good here. Um, and that's going to be running well, especially the new one, Village. And that one has recently came out. But some people always have trouble, but again, your models are always vary. But you think maybe the Steam Deck might be a little bit more optimized for some of these titles. But let's see. Um, one more. Well, I'm, here's this one is a little interesting because it did have problems on Windows. So it would be hard to, to really see if it's going to do <laughs> much better. There's a Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, this <laughs> wow! This one actually has a gold. Now uh, this one actually runs pretty poorly on on uh, Windows. Uh, it's been better. The developer has been patching this much more better, but looks like this has a really good compatibility for it, um, especially a good rating for it. So again, this is just a good way to check your favorite games. Go ahead. I just went through a few of them. Anyways, guys, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Found this informative, and I hope um, if you're on the fence about getting it, you can at least. Um, understand it a little bit better and how it works and to see if your favorite game is at least going to be on there hopefully I really hope that one game that you do have is at least a gold or platinum rating so you could have the most best experience on there and of course there'll be a lot more support especially when this has been released there'll be a lot more support coming that way because there will be a lot more attention on on getting that on getting the Steam Deck running so for Linux users this is fantastic as well it's definitely a great time to, to play some games and everything. So it's always great to have different options. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Switch Pro, but maybe this could be a good replacement. Uh, hopefully. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please subscribe for more content. Hopefully, we do get one of these in for repair. That would be fantastic if we do. I cannot wait for that. That would be so cool. Stay tuned for that. Um, leave a like if you did find this video informative. And I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed watching. Bye.